And I don't know. But it would be cool to, like, you know. I was thinking about it the other night. I had the scene where, like, we're all sitting there, you know, when the alien is introduced. And the alien's just looking at all of us. Like, picture it's, like, in the woods, really dark, and we just see, like, the, the alien between the trees. And then the Bigfoot and the, the Mossman come out. And then, uh, the alien starts using its, uh, telepathic power to make all of us fight, but we know better. So we're just standing there looking at each other, talking like, like, do you hear that? Can you, can you hear that? Like, fucker thinks he's in their head, you know, like, whatever the fuck. And then the monsters all start duking it out. So it'd be pretty cool. I'm trying to write, like, fun little scenes like that. Um, yeah. Sounds good so far. I like it. Yeah. I gotta talk to Chapman about, uh, his cameo. Because I wanted to make it where it looked like he dies, but he doesn't die. And that he's in every one of them with us, you know. So, it would be cool. Cool <laughs> Yeah. You can bring your Cobra, your Cobra gun. Sure, no problem. Yeah. We can throw that in there. Definitely. Uh, definitely great. Yeah, so it will be interesting. Oh, yeah. I'm going to try to write it scary, but funny at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like that. Mm -hmm. It's weird because, like, a couple of weeks ago, well, about maybe a month ago, I had the idea for it. And I was like, it's going to be a, like a cross between Goonies and Ghostbusters, but more adult. And then this week, I got to go see Goonies. I didn't even know Goonies was coming out in the theater. Like, it was just like, boom, my friend called me. He was like, Goonies is playing tonight. Let's go. And my girlfriend wanted to go, you know? So, it was cool to see those two movies on the big screen because it really helped me focus my attention on the group buddy genre. Uh -huh. You know, like the buddy genre with involving groups. So, yeah, that was really, really cool. So, we're going to have like a lot of really cool buddy moments. Like, a lot of cool ones. Yeah, the movies and those are very personal favorites of mine, so that's, that's good to combine them together like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So what are you up to today? Um, I'm just still uh, brainstorming some stuff, but I'm still recording my own and getting ready to uh, go back to, go back to school again next week. Mm-hmm. When you go back to school, you should tell them that that you might that you you might need students for for the movie to help with Which the movie. One, the boss man? No, a supporting Rambo. Oh no! Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. And don't forget, you should you should uh, talk to the fans around Canada, uh, mm -hmm. around uh, home, around home, uh, BC, and. That. And ask them how they can help again. They can be in the movie. Yeah, because I'd really love to come film that in in Illinois. I would really love to help film that out there. So we should start putting maybe putting a little plan together on how uh, we can get the permits and different things while we're out there. This first part, Rambo, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So, so the, the thing we have to do is for support Rambo is is talk to Mickey and Mike and Sarah on on here. Mm -hmm. Tell them what we're gonna do, and we're gonna we'll go back on the script again. But now, now we at the script in a way the script is kind of done because we we already got an opening and we got an ending. We just gotta focus on the middle, and we can just and while we're shooting, we can just improv some stuff in the, in in the middle. We, the stuff we have so far. 
Mm-hmm. It's cool. Yeah. We're just, we're, if, if we can't come up with something before uh, pre-production, we'll just come up with some stuff while production, like that improv some stuff, you know? Okay. Improv ships. Improv some shit. That sounds good. But great. we can still, but we can still make up some, make up some stuff, some stuff while we're at, in pre-production, you know? Yeah. But, and like I said, in a way, the we, we uh, the, the script in our heads is almost done. We just need to. The problem is writing it, but we'll just improv it. We, we'll just write down what we have so far, mm-hmm. and then uh, and then uh, on through, we'll just improv. Yeah, that sounds great. That sounds great. So uh, let me know when you want to set that meeting on here up, and then we'll get to it. Excellent. My my problem is when I write, I like to get really extravagant when I'm writing. Yeah. Like I tend to like really fill in like crazy amounts of description, crazy amounts of. So. You got you got, you got you got you got you got good writing skills for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, but you know, I'd say like worst comes to worst. If if we're behind on writing, we can. We could just start making videos talking about, okay, this scene will be like this, and that scene will be like that, and yeah, that'd be cool, too. That'd be interactive, too, that to the point where other people involved will be able to listen to it, and it's a lot easier to listen to it. Like, you know, like when you have, like, a book on tape, it's a lot easier to, audio, like, imagine. Book, yeah. yeah. So that would be pretty awesome, too, to get that in there. And it will save a lot of time. Like, a lot of time. We could probably do it in one day. Just sit there and, and just talk about it all day. That would be great. I agree. Yeah. And then when, you know, if someone well, needs it, we could just put it on a disc, send it over. Or not even just email it. Email it to them. Uh, that sounds like a plan, man. So, so like I said, let me know when you want to start that uh, that conversation on on mm-hmm. either Skype or on, on here. Up there, we'll get to it. Okay, that sounds good. That sounds good. I'm gonna try to work on one for. Uh, I guess when we do the Moss Man one, we can do it at the same time. That would be good. You know. I, uh, I do. I do what I'd say. Had the conversation. Here? Yeah, for supporting Rambo, we could do maybe both oh. at the same time. That would be while, idealistic. While, while, while we're working, while we're actually still putting Mossman together, not actually shooting it, but we're, while we're still putting it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's not simultaneous, simultaneous, simultaneously. Right? Yeah, yeah. That's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's gonna be wicked. It's gonna be wicked because it's just like wow. I'm trying to take every little. Thing into consideration as I'm as I'm trying to go through uh, putting it together, like written format and 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 just stuff that we're gonna need and where we're gonna need to go and how to get a certain look to it. <clears throat> so it'll be pretty cool. It's be cool because we're gonna be filming four cameras simultaneously. You know, like. Four cameras at the same time, going all the time. So it'll be neat. It'll be neat to see how uh, what that's gonna look like. You know, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be really, really cool. Yeah. I like that. Mm-hmm. And the monster. I'll probably be finished building the monster by Halloween. Maybe that will be my Halloween outfit. But yeah, he's gonna be badass. It's gonna be creepy. That's a good. That's a good idea. Of making him for Halloween, give him a taste of what of what they're gonna see. Yeah, yeah. The only the only thing is I Tasso, the one wearing the suit. I'm gonna ask him what his uh thoughts are on going bipedal, quadpedal, uh, quad, uh, from bipedal to quad, back to bi, 
you know, I want to see what he says about that. Because I know it's a little bit hard to do, especially if you're outside. You need special gloves and, and stuff like that. But we'll see. We'll see what he says. And he's excited about it, so. That's good. Yeah. And I thought it'd be, it's just like, so cool because, like, such a great, Tasso is such a great character actor. You know? Um, it's like when you watch their stuff, it's just, they, they switch the genre constantly. Like, every, every video, they completely switch the genre up. You know, every single time. So it's, it's cool because I could see him, I could see him doing it. Like, I could see him being menacing. At the same time, I could see him, you know, bringing, like, a coy cuteness to it. So, it'll be cool. It'll be cool. Definitely, I want to do something that's not been done. Like, I don't want to do, like, the typical, you know, it's like, <clears throat> people go into the woods and, and you don't see any of the creature until, like, a minute before the end of the movie. I don't want to do that. I want to, I want to have like I want to have the the feet, like the creature in frame for like half of the movie just fucking shit up. So <laughs> that would be really really cool. Yeah. I I, I it sounds like a good plan, man. I'm looking, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to be great. We'll get you down here. You can stay with us for a couple of days. We'll, we'll probably be camping, so we'll probably like stay down here for one day, and then we'll go camping, or we'll go shopping, and then we'll go camping, and just camp out there for for uh, maybe two or three days. Hope we don't run into any actual Bigfoots out there. I hope not. Yeah. Damn Bigfoots. That's why I did the infrasound test because you know, a lot of people who have sighting say that that's what they're hit with. Whenever they have a sighting, apparently that's that's what accompanies the sighting. You know, like um, the vocal cords are really powerful. So I was like, okay, I'll do my infrasound test. So I did one last night. And I was just like, wow. wow, wow. I'll never do it again. I'll never do it again. It li it literally hurt the inside of my body. Like I could literally feel it in my chest. Like I thought my heart was gonna explode. My heart was like <laughs> going like that. You know, it was like it was it was hardcore. Yeah. My sister wants to do it too. I'm like no. I'm like. You can if you want, but don't blame me if anything bad happens. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. 